The UN Special Envoy to Libya, Ghassan Salama, has failed to build consensus between different Libyan parties and protagonists of the peace talks. The main disagreement was about the controversial military appointments and the authorities of the Libya's army chief commander. Other points have not been revealed. There were disagreements and bottlenecks on many points, including the vexing Article 8. There was also progress on many points too. The United Nations support mission in Libya will draft the points of agreement and disagreement. Experts in Libyan affairs say the result was expected from the first round of meetings in the capital city Tunis. The first and the second round of meetings have failed because the Joint Drafting Committee of the House of Representatives and the High Council of the State were unable to make concessions. The inability to resolve political problems at the negotiating table will complicate the situation in Libya now that all parties armed militias and groups claim legitimacy. The United Nations will certainly organize a third round of talks. The members of Libyan negotiating teams will have to change, new ones will be appointed, and the talks will probably start from scratch. Despite the Tunisian president's peace initiative and mediation efforts, the talks in Tunis came to an end. Six years after the fall of the regime of Muammar Gaddafi, Libya is still ravaged by war and internal conflicts. Tunisians are worried about the failure of the UN-sponsored talks after hundreds of hours of negotiations and meetings with tribal leaders, politicians and decision makers from all regions and political affiliations. Many people here doubt that a peaceful settlement will end the Libya crisis. They now fear an escalation of the armed conflict that will have a negative impact on the security in the whole region. Adnan Shawashi, CGTN. Tunis.